In the next demonstration, we will cover the Pharos Chrome Print extension in Uniprint. The two steps we will cover are download Pharos Chrome Print extension and configure Chrome Print extension. Pharos Uniprint Chrome Printing has been utilizing Google Cloud Print, uh, which is being deprecated at the end of 2020. Um, so for clients that need a solution for users to print from Chrome, there's been a new solution that's been needed um, to be put in place. Um, so Ferris has introduced a new Ferris Chrome printing solution for Uniprint in Uniprint 9.1 Service Pack 3 that utilizes the Ferris Chrome print extension. Uh, just want to note that the prerequisites for this to work in your environment will require Uniprint 9.1 running at Service Pack 3. Service Pack 3 can be ran and installed from um, the system updater service within the administration console. Uh, but in addition to that, um, prerequisites before you do that update, you will need Visual Studio 2015 x86 runtime, the .NET Core Windows Server Hosting 3.13, as well as the Pharos IPP service. These items are available on the community website. If you go to the Uniprint service packs and hotfixes, there's a screen image over here at the, on the right. Um, that the Ferris IPP service, if you download this, it will include these three additional um, prerequisites that you need uh, to get this working in your environment. Also note that Service Pack 3 will update Print Center to version 4.11, which is also required, as well as you will need Mobile Print um, version 2.3 or later. Uh, the current version is at 2.4. Additional information just to note through this process that if the Uniprint administrators import your user base um, uh, users Gmail addresses to their Uniprint account, it will reduce a step or the time that it takes for the user to register their Ferris Chrome Print uh, extension. Uh, in this example that I'm going to demo here next, note that I do not have my Gmail account registered, so I'll go through that registration process. So where you are allowing or do not have the user's Gmail addresses pre-populated on their account, you will need to enable uh, email address registration um, for mobile print within Print Center. Also to note um, that the current release with Service Pack 3 does not allow you to change the Pharos Chrome printer name, um, but in the next pending release here shortly that will introduce touchless printing, uh, there will be an update that will include a GUI in the Print Center website um, for um, the Chrome printing that will allow you to change the secure printer name. Uh, so just note that you won't be able to change that right now, but very shortly uh, you will be able to do that. To go ahead and show you how this works uh, in Uniprint and to get the user running with all of those prerequisites uh, in place in this environment, we first need to go to the Chrome Web Store. From there, I'm going to search for the Pharos Chrome Print uh, extension. It will pull it up when you click on it. Uh, over on the um, a page will appear so that you can add it to Chrome. You're going to click the Add to Chrome and then confirm that you do want to add this ex extension. From here, you'll note that um, up in the taskbar, um, you see in the extensions icon, we can click this and we can click a pen icon. This pen will keep the Pharos Chrome Print extension um, pinned to your taskbar so you can see it at all times. From there, you'll also notice that there's a red explanation box. This just means that the Chrome Print extension has not been registered or enabled. From here, we'll go ahead and just click the Pharos Chrome Print extension, and we're going to type in the URL to your Pharos Print Center website that users access. Uh, in this case, I'm using a local uh, VM um, just to demo this environment. So I'm putting in the IP address of the Print Center uh, website that I need to connect to. But again, this would typically be the friendly name that your users type in a browser to go to the Pharos Print Center website. When that is there, we'll go ahead and click Submit. And then you'll see that it came back um, that there's still additional work required, that a registration email has been sent to my email uh, and click that to register my account. So I'm going to go over into my email here. Um, you'll see here that I got my registration email. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then I can click the link here to register my email address. This is then going to take me out to Print Center, uh, where I will authenticate, just as if I'm a normal user going to the website. Um, so I'm going to type, in this case, um, 
my uh, normal credentials, um, most likely like their network ID and password, so that I authenticate into the Print Center. And this will then uh, append or add my Gmail ad email address uh, that I use to register the Pharos uh, print, Chrome Print extension to. So I get a success um, message that my email address has been registered to my account. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And this just again takes me into the Print Center website. From here, I can go ahead and click up here again and sub click the submission button. And then the icon here uh, will change. Uh, and my configuration is complete, and you see the green checkbox. Uh, just note again that once the user had put in the URL and the step prior and submitting that, as long as the user's Gmail account was already existing on a Uniprint user account, it would go immediately to green and be available for use. Once you have the Pharos Chrome Print extension installed and configured, you can then use it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the, in this case, the Uniprint 9.1 brochure in Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and click the print icon. This will bring up the dialog box, and you'll see it already came up with Pharaoh's Chrome printer, but you can always go down to the See More selections to see all of the choices that you have available. And again, this Pharaoh's Chrome printer, you'll be able to change this name with the update coming for touchless print if you, you don't like this for your environment and doesn't fit your culture or branding needs. So I'm going to go ahead and select that Pharaoh's Chrome uh, printer here. And I can select if I want to print everything or all the pages in the document, how many copies, color, or I go to additional settings. Uh, once I'm good, I'm going to go ahead and just hit the print button. It will then submit this print job um, through the Pharos Chrome print extension into Uniprint. Uh, from there, again, I can look in the Pharos, go back into the Pharos Print Center. Uh, I see that my document is now just coming into the system. When it comes in, it's counting and page counting the job and showing the price. Uh, you'll see here that the document um, is in color um, and it's 12 pages and 12 sheets of paper. It's single-sided and what the cost is. Uh, and then from there, you're able to use it however your Uniprint system is configured, um, either printing through the Print Center website or going to any Pharos secure enabled printer to release that document. So in summary, I was able to download the Pharos Chrome print extension in Chrome and enable uh, and register it to my account, as well as I was able to enter this Uniprint server URL and the Chrome print extension to register my email address, as well as then print a document that can be released at any Pharos Century Print secure printer.